Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my double bacon cheeseburger loaded with these condiments that you see here. Okay, so here I have already pre-rolled out my chopped meat that I'm going to be used for burger patties and the size of these are a little bit bigger than a golf ball. Probably looks a little bit bigger. Whoa, don't leave now. We gotta cook you. So I was saying... These probably look a little bit bigger to you on screen, but trust me, they're just a little bit bigger than a regular sized golf ball. Here I have some applewood smoked bacon that I'm going to be cooking in the oven. That and I already have a uh, I have a pre-lined bacon sheet with some uh, foil. Saves me some cleanup instead of having all the grease splattering all over my stove. So that's how I'm gonna be doing that. And here I have a piece of parchment paper that I'm gonna be using to smash the burgers down. Potato rolls. And here I have a little bit of mozzarella. Probably not gonna be using all of this, but you know, just a little bit, but only on one slice. Only on I'm just going to be using I'm just going to be using a little bit probably just on one burger patty here we have some pickles here I have some thin sliced white onion some tomato and some lettuce and two slices of American cheese so okay guys I'm gonna get this pack of bacon open and I'm gonna put about four to five slices into that bacon sheet that I just showed y'all with uh, the foil lined up in it and I will be right back after I get that done. And we're going to start cooking these burgers. Okay, guys, before we go on to cooking the, uh, the burger patties, here's the bacon that I cooked in the oven at 425 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. So depending on how you would like your bacon, if you want an extra crispier, which I think that this is... You know just fine uh, you can leave it longer or if you like it a little softer you know put it in for less time but you know that's up to you so now we can move on to getting these burger patties oh but one thing to cook my uh, burger patties I'm gonna take a little bit of this uh, bacon grease to uh, cook them in instead of using like vegetable oil or any uh, cooking spray so we can get the perfect crust on the on those patties so I will be right back. Okay guys, so it's time to get those burgers going. But before I put those burgers onto my griddle, it's already been preheated. I'm going to toast my buns and then we'll drop the burgers. So I'm gonna hit the, uh, the griddle with a little bit of butter right here in the front. Let that melt up a little bit. Okay, so that seems to be hot enough. Let's get out a little press so the butter, make sure the butter is on it. So guys, while you're at it, hit that uh, like button and also make sure that you have subscribed to my page and definitely hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I do post another video so that we can continue to grow this channel and I can continue to put out some, some good recipes for you guys. We got the fall coming up and the winter. So, you know, it's gonna be some comfort food recipes that I'm going to be doing soon. And I think you guys are gonna really enjoy those. 
recipe so definitely make sure that you subscribe so that you can you know keep up and see those great videos that I'm gonna be posting soon so here for this uh, these buns you don't need to toast them for as long just make sure you get a nice brown color on them so as soon as these get toasted up I don't want you guys to have to sit here and watch it <laughs> I'll be right back okay so this is toasted enough for me I'm gonna take these off just set them to the side and we can get our burgers going Alright, so I'm going to take my already rolled ground beef meat patties. But first I'm going to put that, uh, that uh, the bacon grease on there. And guys, this is going to add tons of flavor. So I'm going to put some of it where I'm going to be placing each burger. So I'm gonna put it on the back plane here. And in the front, first I need to turn this down. All right, all right. I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of seasoning. On the side that we're gonna be facing down, then I'll season the top. Oh, sorry, you guys couldn't see me. But this is basically what I'm doing here. Make sure you want to get it into that, that bacon grease. So now I'm going to smash them. As hard as you can. Make it as flat as you can because remember these are going to shrink in size. So, whoa, baby, whoa. Come on now. Get on in there. Alright, so let me do this one before it starts to cook too much. Should have used a heavier spatula, but this will work out. And I'm sorry I didn't mention uh, the type of chopped meat that I was using, or ground beef. I'm using 80-20 right now. Okay. So that should be good enough. You can smash this one a little bit more. Alright. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the top with a little more of this seasoning. And guys, you can season your burger patties with whatever you like to, you know, season your burgers with already salt and pepper would do because you're going to get you know flavor from the bacon and all of the condiments that you're going to be adding to this burger anyway or if you want to throw a little onion powder garlic powder paprika seasoning salt black pepper definitely feel free all right that should do back there and that should do up there maybe a tad bit more up here for this side all right cool so so i'm gonna let these cook and when it's time to flip i will be right back to show you guys what the uh other side should be looking like so guys i will be right back all right so it looks like it's about that time to flip these burger patties as you can see the size have changed in color Oh, and that's perfect to me. Even better. Alrighty, guys. So, as soon as these burgers are ready for the cheese, in about two more minutes, I will show you exactly how I'm going to be doing that. So it's time for the cheese. Let's put that on. Okay, so it's time for that cheese. Let me just bring that up. So we're gonna have both slices with the uh, American. Let 
the slice there. I remember I told you guys that uh, one of them will be having a little mozzarella cheese on it. So let me get that out because I did put it away. I'm going to choose this slice back here and I'm going to bring this slice forward. Just a few shreds, not much. I'm gonna bring this patty forward so that you guys can see exactly what's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna let those patties melt, melt down. All right guys, so these burgers are done. So what I'm gonna do now is just layer them on top of each other and then we'll start uh, to assemble these burgers. Okay, I'm gonna let those rest there for a second. Let's start by, uh, let's start assembling this burger. Okay, so here's the bottom part of the bun and the top part. I already put ketchup on the top because I already knew exactly where I wanted it to go. <laughs> and I'm gonna spread a little mayo on the bottom part. You guys, you can put as much or as little as you like when it comes to the condiments and, whoa, and the sauces and stuff, so. That will do for me. Okay. So there's that bottom part of the bun. So we're gonna hit that with uh, some lettuce. Let's make it pretty, make it pretty. Okay, some tomato. Guys, I didn't cut them so thick, so here's the uh, sizes of the tomato that I'm using. I don't want to build this too high because I don't want anything to fall. I'm going to use this one instead. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with a little, a few slices of these onions. If you don't like onion, you know, raw onion on your burgers, you can definitely omit this, which wouldn't be a problem because it's gonna be yours. So you're gonna use what you like. Okay, now I'm gonna go with the, uh, the bacon. And I think I'm gonna put bacon at both the top and, and the bottom. Cause this is a bacon cheeseburger, so why not load it up? Okay, let's get those burger patties now. Maybe I should put the pickles on. I know that some people, you know, put their uh, burgers together a certain way, but me, it's all going in the same place. So I don't really, you know, follow how to, you know, put things on a certain way. I'm 
All right, I'm good with that. So now for the burger patties. Okay. Oh, this smells so good, man. Once everything comes together, whoa. And you know what the raw onions, man, they do so much. Okay. Yep, and I'm gonna go with the rest of the bacon. Because it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Sorry for the camera shaking. And guys, there you have it. That is my double bacon cheese loaded burger with everything on it. So let me give you guys a close up. Mmm, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Why wouldn't anybody want to eat one of those? Come on now. Alright guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel so that you can continue to get more recipes from me. And last but not least, I'm going to hit this with some french fries. Yep. I made some uh, shoestring fries. Which are my favorite. Pretty quite a good too, but I prefer shoestring fries. And these are the ones that get a little crispy. Come on, you can't go wrong with that. Look at that. Don't tell me you don't want none of that. Come on now. That is beautiful. All right, guys. So like I said, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel so that you can continue to get more recipes. So for now, guys, I am out of here and I will see you in the next video.